Hello, welcome to City Hall this week. The Durham Police Department will soon require many of its sworn officers to use body-worn cameras. The City Council recently approved spending $1.4 million over five years to buy up to 530 cameras. They will be worn by all sworn officers at the rank of captain and below. The policy that will govern the program was developed with input from the city administration and the public, as well as best practices from other agencies and in compliance with relevant statewide legislation. The body cameras are expected to be in use in 2017. Several important sidewalk projects are moving ahead throughout the city. Durham has received federal funding for five projects that were identified in the Durham Walks pedestrian plan. The sidewalks will be built on LaSalle Street between Kangaroo Drive and Sprunt Avenue, Raynor Street between North Miami Boulevard and North Hardy Street, the south side of Highway 54 between Highway 55 and the city limit with Research Triangle Park, the east side of North Duke Street between Murray Avenue and North Roxborough Road, and Austin Avenue between Capps Street and Riddle Road. The total amount of federal funding received for all of these projects is $2.9 million. As part of its effort to preserve affordable housing in Durham, the city is buying two surplus properties from the county. The vacant lots are located at 518 Boone Street and 704 Eva Street and are being purchased for a total of $19,000. The city wants to ensure these properties will be used for the development of affordable housing. The fire department is supporting the creation of a high school fire academy through the donation of outdated fire equipment to Durham Public Schools. The academy will be geared toward training high school students in basic firefighting techniques and emergency medical care and will be housed at the Holton Career and Resource Center. Students can work toward an Associates of Applied Science degree in Fire Protection Technology through Durham Technical Community College. Students completing the program will achieve state certifications needed to be hired by local fire departments. If you're a Parks and Recreation customer, life has just gotten a little easier for you. Thanks to a new online system, you can register and pay for services with no extra fee added. In addition, you can tailor your account to match your needs by signing up to receive information about specific programs directly to your inbox. More information on how to sign up can be found on the city's website. That does it for City Hall this week. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. You can also find us on demand on Drum Television Network's webpage and on YouTube. Thank you for joining us. The following is a production of Durham Television Network.